Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's uh, 12 27 2019, and I wanted to come on here this morning and speak out on the Mid East plague of locusts. Uh, the plague of locusts has hit the Middle East and Somalia and Ethiopia. The infestation is likely to spread further. They have already damaged 173,000 acres in Somalia and neighboring Ethiopia. An average swarm can contain up to 58 million locusts per square mile. They will eat every green plant down to nothing. They can destroy enough crops of one square mile to feed 2,500 people a year. Um, they can spray, uh, they can't really spray the air to control the locusts with pesticides due to all the wars that are going on there right now. So it seems like the, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are ready to ride in Somalia and Ethiopia. And Ethiopia is one of the five nations mentioned to attack Israel in the Gog Magog War. And uh, yesterday the Holy Spirit asked me to uh, speak on, because we were seeing this Russia-China-Ram war games that they've begun, which I believe is preparation for Ezekiel chapter 38 prophecy to be fulfilled. And uh, a lot of people have been expecting this for some time. Uh, and this thing with the Trump peace plan being rebuilt, it can't really be rebuilt in full until uh, they finish that third election over in Israel and get the government settled first. And then that, uh, you know, will come out. And uh, whether or not that's going to be the Daniel 927 fulfillment of prophecy or not is, you know, debatable. But uh, one also wonders, you know, that if, if, if a peace plan didn't come, wasn't signed and agreed to by all of the countries involved, one wonders if this, uh, the next thing is not going to be Ezekiel chapter 38 being fulfilled. So the Lord wanted me to mention this thing about his war game in chapter 38 beginning in verse 18. And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face, for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there should be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heavens and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence, and the mountains shall be thrown down, and the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him throughout all of my mountains, saith the Lord God. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him, an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. So that right there is uh, the Lord's war game strategy that he's got planned. The great earthquake that's going to shake enough uh, stuff to, uh, well, it says that all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. So worldwide, this shaking is going to be a worldwide earthquake that occurs. And lastly, I wanted to mention uh, uh, again about the New Madrid fault alert. I think I had a video out about a week and a half ago uh, where there was a swarm of five quakes in one day. But the New Madrid fault uh, line has been rattled with 20 earthquakes apparently in the last two weeks. And the latest quake measure, 2.2 magnitude, happened around 3.30 p.m. Sunday. Uh, it was located about two miles east-northeast of Ridgely, uh, Ridgely, Tennessee, and 33 miles east of Kennett, uh, Missouri. And it was 3.3 uh, miles deep, which is pretty deep. Uh, the New Madrid seismic zone, which USGS calls the most seismically active zone east of the Rockies. So while the west coast is apparent, you know, with all of the activity that's out there, 
which uh, I'm going to mention in uh, another video that's coming up here. Um, you know, this is a, something to keep our eye on because uh, it's just, uh, I think that's the most active that it's been in a long time. Um, so uh, that concludes uh, the message for now. And uh, I plan to be back on uh, shortly uh, later on today. And between now and the first of the year, the time that I've got off, I'm getting situated with uh, settling this uh, problems and stuff that I had with my vehicle. That's kind of uh, kept me from really doing videos in the last few days. It's kept me distracted, um, which is what the enemy's doing, been doing, you know, on here for about the past six months. But what I expect to come to an end pretty quickly because uh, uh, 2020, you know, that's uh, that's the year I believe of the final harvest of souls and the unprecedented anointing of the Holy Spirit. So, um, you know, time is, I just, like I say, time is running out and I'm gonna try to get out as many messages as I can between now and the time of the rapture. So, uh, see you again shortly soon.